I, I want to change the subject. We had uh, Joel Dreesen here last year mm -hmm. at the end of the season, and he had played for Gary Kubiak, mm -hmm. and he said, "You get you, even though he's soft spoken, yeah. and he's not a guy that's screaming a screamer or a holler." He said, <clears throat> "When he gets through talking to you, you'd want to run through a brick wall for him." Are you getting an impression about? Kubiak and what kind of coach he is going to be and would you agree even though you haven't gotten into a game situation or an important game with Gary Kubiak but is there a side of Gary Kubiak that, that a lot of people don't see that he is a lot more intense than he comes across as the nice soft spoken, soft -spoken guy? Oh, he's, he's definitely got a stare that just tells you that <laughs> he's all about business when the he's look. out there on the field and we're out there going through our drills and you just turn around, and you'll see him right there, and he's just staring so intense. And just, you're like, okay, well, if he's about business, just standing there, we have to be about business, going about our business on the field. I, I know it's early, and you're not in pads, mm -hmm. um, but can you feel a difference between Kubiak and, and John Fox and their staffs? And, and Wade and, Phillips and yeah, Jack Del and, and, and what yeah. it feels like? Yeah, there, there's definitely a difference. You know, not just, you know, their personality or, you know, versus Fox being, you know, a little louder and a little more goofy and joking around with guys and uh, Coob's being, being the quiet, soft-spoken one. Um, but just their teaching method is, is a lot different. You know, just how they coach is a lot different. So it's, it's been a change, uh, a change of pace for me because, again, I had Fox for four years and, right. you know, I had Jack for three and <laughs> I finally had a D coordinator longer <laughs> than one year.